Hello, this is a uh, After Effects tutorial on the Assassin's Creed Eagle Vision effect. Um, this is done on After Effects CS6 and uh, I'm not sure if this effect will work on CS5, CS4 or CS3 uh, but it should because it does just use the basic plugins, it doesn't use uh, third party plugins or anything like that. Um, the final result should look something a little bit like this although results do kind of vary depending on your source footage but I'll show you kind of the, the workflow that you need to go through um, so yeah let's get started uh, what I'm not going to do though is I'm, I'm just going to show you how to get the effect uh, I'm not going to uh, sh like keyframe a whole video because I can't really be bothered um, but uh, I'll sh I will show you how to mask a video and like keyframe it so that everything is um, so that the, uh, the colors like move along with the characters uh, in your frame. Anyway, uh, let's begin. Uh, I've already imported my footage here, so I uh, just drag it down here for a new comp. And here we go. Uh, the footage is just my friend Alex walking along after his target Andy here um, well the, the footage is 24 FPS and it's handheld which is why it's blurry as hell we can't really see much in focus but you know it's something to work with in it so um, anyway what, what you need to do is uh, find like a point for your um, eagle vision to activate and then you do new solid white solid make it a comp size okay and then you drag the start to about like a second before like this point here where I've got mine is going to be where the eagle vision is activated um, and you press T on the white solid layer move to where it uh, starts press this stopwatch here change your opacity to zero and move along about a second or so um, I'm trying to get an exact frame here because I'm trying to mimic the frame that will, it's like the final result which is this one um, but on your opacity change that to 100 so then it kind of goes like this and then go about another second after that change the opacity again to 0 just move that along a bit and then it'll kind of like go white and come out again like as if you've activated your eagle vision then what you need to do is uh, hide this layer since it's not needed until you render out and uh, click this here go to curves type it over here I've already searched for it a lot of times drag it onto your footage and uh, what you'll want to do here with the RGB uh, th this could vary diff depending on your source footage but as you can see mine's quite bright it's exposed well so uh, I've got a bit of leg leg room here now what you need to do is drag this bottom left hand corner and drag it across I drag mine to uh, just just next to halfway now that that's quite dark but uh, we'll uh, approach that with the next bit where you have to go to the blue curves select this bottom corner bring it up to about halfway and then move it across to about just after the first this first axis here I'm going to go back to my RGB and make it a little bit darker about there then what you need to do is uh, duplicate that layer by pressing command and D while it is highlighted um, and then what you'll need to do is move your RGB back just a little bit to about there just so you can see the details because I'm going to uh, do the colour for Alex's character now but you can see the details on his hoodie there well moderately and then what you'll need to do is uh, go to the mask layer which is this pen tool here when you've got this highlighted and just draw around your character I am here very very crudely um, join it up there we go we just have Alex 
Well, on his lonesome there, bless him. There's the phone going. I knew that would happen when I'm recording a video. But anyway, um, what you need to do now is go to change colour. Not to be confused with change to colour. Change colour. That change to colour is a load of bollocks. So drag this onto your footage. Hue transform. Well, actually, you don't do that yet. You do match intolerance and you bring that up because then uh, you can see your hue transform. If that's like down on 15%, it just doesn't really change. So drag that up. Um, I'm going to make Alex gold. So, try and get a gold colour here. Probably about there, I'd say. You bring the lightness up just a little bit, about there. Saturation, I'll just leave that at zero. So uh, if we come out there, we've got Alex there. He's already gold, you know. He's not, he's not awful. But as you can see here, the mask is a little bit, little bit sharp. So what I'm going to do is click the layer there, press F, and it will bring your mask feather. Bring it up. I'm going to put mine on like 74 or something, and there it really softens it, kind of like how Eagle Vision looks, like with the little blurred edges of the characters. Um. But yeah, he's looking, he's looking quite good at the moment. Then what we need to do is go over here and go to Glow. Drag Glow onto your masked layer there. Now he's looking quite extreme right about there. But uh, what we can do to do that, to combat that, is change your Glow Threshold to quite high and then it kind of smooths out the uh, the glow change its intensity or no, it's the radius that uh, smooths out the glow you can bring this back down now and get quite an intense glow there bring up the intensity um, try and soften it a bit more maybe have a bit less of a glow anyway there you go you've got something like that Down on the radius there, change the intensity. There, you see, he's, he's kind of glowing gold. It's not perfect, but he's he's glowing gold, isn't he? Um, and then what you'll need to do to do your other character is duplicate this layer. Uh, you can do the same with your RGB. Move it back there just so I can see Andy or two of them in this frame. Uh, choose your mask tool again. I'll just do a really horrible mask there around character. So there we go. And then you just basically repeat exactly the same steps. So I'll feather him a bit. Not too much, otherwise, it'll just look silly. There he goes, a little bit soft now. Um, change colour put one on that layer there another tolerance make it a red since he's the target up there I know it's lightness a little bit pink uh, change the hue a bit There we go. Well, like a bit of a really crude red glow there. <laughs> Up the saturation a bit since it's not that red. Then we go to glow. Bring the glow on. Ah, I quite like to have it quite intense on the targets like that. Bring up the intensity a bit. Smooth it out with the radius. Then you 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 know what I'm getting at here. There's some kind of a uh, little like blurry, glowy image going on. Well, you can clearly distinguish like a villain and a and like a target color. I know I've done this like completely wrong in terms of who's the target and who's the assassin, but I'm just doing it for the colors. You know, the assassins are normally like a light, whitey blue. I think, kind of like this color, of the sky. Uh, but yeah, if he's a villain. He's a badass, so he's going to follow him. 
Um, but yeah, this this looks all right for one frame, except this horrible mask, which I probably should have just done around the character, but whatever. Um, so what you need to do here is you go to your mask or your layer with the mask on. Press M, mask path. You keyframe this, and then you go through your footage frame by frame, and you move your mask or sometimes the points to go around your uh, character a bit like this uh, you can add more points to the mask if say well like mine's gone off frame here you can add more points to do around his head by just clicking that and clicking on the line add a few more points Just mask on the head quite nicely there. Right. And as you can see now we've now got two frames where Alex is quite nicely uh, masked, brushed mask, but he's masked. And uh, Andy is still very red. Uh, but yeah, that's like the basic way to do the Eagle Vision effect. Uh, it's not too hard. The only thing that will take you a while is masking the whole uh, sequence. Um, one thing I could do actually try and get more gold is maybe just there we go. That looks a bit better. Doesn't look quite like that one, but you know it's it's gold enough. Um, I, I did spend a lot longer on this one, which is why this one probably looks better. But uh, yeah, uh, results can vary, but uh, it's worth a shot, you know. Just play around with it. Um, but this is a basic outline of how to do it. And uh, cheers for watching.